afternoon. St. Francis de Sales Parish welcomes our parishioners and visitors on this 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Presiding at the Mass today will be Father John Hall, and he will be assisted by Deacon Russ Kingery. Let us begin this celebration of the Eucharist by joining together in song with hymn number 507. We gather together, number 507. Please rise. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. He lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Oh 
a reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mormon as he sat in the entrance of his tent while the day was growing hot. Looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them. And bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought that you may bathe your feet and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food that you may refresh yourself. And afterward, you may go on your way. The men replied, very well, do as you have said. Abraham Henson hastened into the tent and told Sarah, quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender, choice steer, and he gave it to a servant who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set these before the three men. And he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked Abraham, what, where is your wife Sarah? He replied, there in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. for you 
the Word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he who, whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom, that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. that she caused trouble, she caused unrest, she made people nervous. Mary, who was simple and trusting, waited on Jesus by sitting with him, sitting attentively at his feet. She instinctively knew what the Lord wanted most at this moment of his ministry, and that was her attentive presence, just her presence. You know, anxiety and preoccupation keep us from listening, oftentimes, and keep us from giving the Lord the attention He deserves. He asks us to give, up, give Him our concerns and our anxieties because He is able to meet 
every need that we have. His grace will free us from worthless concerns and preoccupation with worthless things. So, does the Lord find a welcome place and an honored place in your homes? Jesus wants us to make a place not only in our homes, but in our hearts and in the daily circumstances of our lives. After all, everything we have, when you think about it, is an outright gift from God. Paul asks us to give God glory in everything. Whatever you do, in word and deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to the Father through Him. When you eat, sleep, sit, Whenever you entertain friends and guests, remember also that Jesus is a guest in your home. He wants us to honor him in how we treat others and how we use the gifts he has given us. As he said, Mary has chosen the better portion and she shall not be deprived of it. Now hospitality was a privilege and a responsibility highly valued by the Jewish people. When we offer hospitality, we may be entertaining angels or even God himself, as Abraham did. Abraham and Sarah, for example, offer hospitality to God and his two angels. As a result, God promised them that they would miraculously have a son, even though they were both approaching 100 years old. Hospitality will bring blessings, but as awesome as hospitality is, Jesus wants us more than that to pray. He prayed in such a new way that people who had prayed for years and years asked him to teach them how to pray. You remember the John's disciples asked him, teach us how to pray. After Jesus ascended into heaven, his disciples, who caught on to this idea of prayer, devoted themselves to constant prayer for how many days? Anybody know? Nine? Is that a number that you recognize? The church was born from this nine-day period of prayer. It was the first novena. From that point on, the Spirit empowered Jesus' followers to devote themselves to prayer and fasting and everything else. <clears throat> so, each time we pray, we invite Jesus into our hearts and into our minds. And as we do, we can ask Him to give us grace, to give us strength, to endure everything that comes our way and to bring his love to everyone that we meet. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now let us stand and renew our faith together as we pray the Apostles' Creed and say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified. Let us turn to our Father 
trusting he will hear our petitions. <laughs> For all my members of the church, may we grow in holiness through the graces we receive, through the presence of Christ in prayer and in the sacraments. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. prayers. For government leaders and for all who seek peace and justice in this world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. prayers. For the sick, the despairing, and the lonely, may the Lord provide them comfort and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. prayers. For this faith community, may the Spirit guide us in our efforts to follow God's will in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our beloved dead, that they soon come to the experience of the fullness of God's mercy in his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. In a moment of silence, we mention the individual personal intentions we bring to the celebration of the Eucharist. For these, and for all the intentions included in our books of remembrance, we pray to the Lord. To the Lord, hear our prayers. Father, we thank you for your peace and all our prayers. We ask everything in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. The preparation end is number 490. There is a law in number 490.
all creation. For through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer. They are the fruits of our earth and the work of human hands, and will become our spiritual food and drink. Lord, wash away our iniquity, cleanse us from our sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be pleasing to God who is our loving Father. May the Lord our sacrifice be great, by the grace and glory of his name, God, who is this one sacrifice, brought to completion the very offerings of the law. Accept this sacrifice from your faithful people. Make it holy, and you bless the gifts of people, so that what each has offered to the honor of your honor may benefit from the salvation of all. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We are the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So we join with all the angels and saints and declare your glory in their hymn of endless praise. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he handed the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of Let us now in song proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection. 
and offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, all the clergy and religious, and all your faithful people. Remember our brothers and sisters, relatives and friends, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, that with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, whom we honor today as Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Joseph, her husband, the blessed apostles, and all the saints, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. and offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Peace, Bill. Peace. Peace. Lord, have mercy. 
together, let us pray the honor of Christy. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water of the Messiah of Christ, wash me. Ascension of Christ, strengthen me. Oath of Jesus, cure me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separate from you, and let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. The announcements. Our uh, registration for religious education, education classes is available now on our parish website, which is sfdtucson.org, all over case. You need to call the office. Teachers are still needed for pre K through 12. We're almost there, but keep praying on that, please. No experience is necessary. Training and materials will be supplied. This is a vital ministry. Our, our kids need you to help them in their Catholic faith journey. Please call Maureen or Terry at the parish phone number for more information. At noon tomorrow, Tucson Electric Power will be presenting new ways to lower your bill and use our environment appropriately. There will be refreshments, and it's an informative way to spend a little bit of time in our cool old beer room. We're in the process of making an updated parish photo album. If you need your picture taken, stop by the parish center after the Sunday morning masses and see Cheryl. Returning and inactive Catholics, welcome. If you're a Catholic who's been away from the church, we invite you to be an active part of us again. Landings is a program that offers a safe place to land a place for listening and being heard, a place for asking questions and reconnecting with the faith as an adult. Our next session will be held on Mondays from August 1st to September 26th. It will be coordinated by Kristen Van Tilburg. If you're interested, please see the bulletin or call the parish office. And this is not a sacramental preparation, it's, it's kind of a catechism for us older folks. High school teens, please see the bulletin regarding our upcoming movie night on July 24th. Please see the bulletin regarding our upcoming symposium on August 27th. Thank you. Welcome to those who are live streaming with us tonight. So thank you for praying with us. And we, uh, there's the statements we can make in the present circumstances. And one day, feel free to join us again. Also, a special welcome to the Director of Faith Formation for the Diocese, uh, Ms. Ophelia James. She's in the back there in all in black. And we thank Ophelia. We're doing all that work uh, and welcome. Give her a nice round of applause. We don't get that very often in the chancery office. 
but we couldn't see you. Let us pray. God, be present to your people. Lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways of sin to the new life of grace. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Have a good evening. Thank you, Father. You too. The closing hymn is 466. In the name of the Lord. In the 466. Thank you.